Okay, let's have a look at the principles of training. So every time we train, you know, we, there's obviously has to be a purpose for it. Um, and our principles for training want us to, um, and, they, and these principles have to be applied to our training in order to continuously improve our training. So reversibility um, is when if your training stops, um, all gains are lost right so this is called the detraining effect now um yeah like for example if you don't use it you lose it that kind of thing so generally lost um at a similar rate that they are gained and there are more so the more adaptations you have the more you have to lose so for example if you're training um you know you're doing a lot of strength training and then you stop doing strength training you can lose um the muscular hypertrophy that you've been seeing so the changes in your muscle um in the size of your muscles you can see that like you, you know if it has increased you've been doing strength training and then you stop for a while there can be a decrease in that and so we want to maintain that you know you may not be able to add on to you may not be able to train as much so that you can continue increasing but you can maintain it with some level of training so reversibility can be seen four to six weeks after stopping aerobic training and we can maintain this by aerobic training um of 70% heart rate and doing it for three times per week so we can see um, reversibility two weeks post stopping resistance training and we can maintain it by um, doing one session per week of previous intensity so even if you can't even if you can't commit to like continuing it you still want to be able to maintain it Uh, specificity now the training has to be specific to a sport that intuitively makes sense um, and it, and you know your training has to target specific aspects of the sport so best gains are made when the training mirrors the sports and in aerobic training the pace and environment um, the pace and environment should reflect competition for example a swimmer swims right a swimmer cannot become better at swimming by running like sure it can help with like aerobic endurance but it's not going to help them become a better swimmer so for example with resistance training muscle groups used in uh so we want to focus on developing muscle groups that are used in sport obviously you want the overall body fitness but still you're you are placing emphasis on muscles that you are using in the training. So a swimmer would use lat pull downs to replicate the pulling movement at a swimming speed. So variety is the next one. Now that makes sense, right? We don't want to get bored from training. We don't want to hate training because you have to do the same thing every time. So doing um, a variety of different um exercises and using different machines and so on that can help provide uh, prevent boredom and it can also help with your mental well-being because you know um you don't want to be bored from doing your training you don't want you don't you don't want it to feel like a chore every time you do it so you know the two are quite closely related and it maintains motivation as well so that you want to come back and actually do it now aerobic changing from fart leg to so in aerobic we see variety when we change from fart leg training to continuous train um to continue for running or with resistance training we go from free um fixed or elastic or hydraulics for chest press so we're sort of changing every time and doing you know targeting the same muscle group but doing it in different ways okay so what are the physiological adaptations that happen as a result of training so we've got stroke volume, there's um, changes to the stroke volume, so the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart per litre um, is the stroke volume, and stroke volume increases from training. So you should be, you should know all of these different terms, you should know the, um, what each one of them is, and be able to actually talk through what are the physiological adaptations that occur as training. That is all part of the right hand side of the syllabus. Even with um, this question, like for example, um, you can be asked, like in, and I think there have been some HSC questions that have asked something similar. Is for example, you know, how can a soccer player apply the principles of training in their training regime so you want to you want to know each one and be able to talk about them and give examples for them